Welcome back. After the eStore test completed in the Run the Test video, a new tab with test results opened. Let's examine it. You can select one of several views from the toolbar. The first view is the Summary view. It highlights test run information and its main statistics. It also includes average performance metrics for the entire test, test iterations, requests, transactions, and pages. For example, for pages, the summary view displays average response time, page request rate, and number of pages and how many times they were requested, and how many errors, timeouts, and missed goals were encountered. It also displays a list of the slowest pages. Let's examine another view. The graph view displays a large number of performance graphs. At the same time, it allows to quickly locate and highlight analytical information you're interested in. For example, I would like to analyze the behavior of a page with the most goal misses. The goal is the target response time which a page or transaction should not exceed. I'll select the Pages graph from the drop-down and select One Graph Layout to maximize it. Then, I'll go to the Grid and sort by the Missed Goal column. The HP Pavilion page has the greatest number of the goal misses. Right-click and select Hide All the Curves But This to focus just on this page. I would like to examine the area of the graph where the page is consistently slower than its goal, so I select it to zoom in. Mouse over any data point to display its value. As you can see, the graphs can be quickly customized to highlight areas of interest. If you prefer to analyze performance analytics in numerical form, select Detail View. Here you can display one of several grids with detailed performance information about transactions, pages, virtual users, and other areas of interest. Besides providing the analytics, the test results help to answer specific questions about your website performance. For example, I would like to find out how many users the eStore website can handle. On the page grid, click on the average response time column to sort. The slowest page is HP Pavilion with an average response time of 2.8 seconds. Click the Details link to open the page subreport in a new tab. You can open subreports of pages or transactions that you are interested in to analyze in more detail. Like in the test report, in the subreport, you can select one of several views from the toolbar. Click the Performance view. It displays page response time dynamics. Green, red, and purple lines display the page's average, maximum, and minimum response times respectively. I will hide the maximum and minimum lines. The blue line shows the number of virtual users. The horizontal line shows the response time goal, which is 4 seconds in this case. I click in the graph area where the response time consistently exceeds the goal. The red vertical line correlates response time to the number of users. Mouse over a point where the red line intercepts the user's line. The data point tooltip shows that when the number of virtual users reaches 42, the slowest page consistently misses its performance target. Now we know that the eStore website can handle 42 concurrent users. This was a brief introduction to stress stimulus performance analytics. In other videos, we will review more topics about analyzing the test results such as pinpointing performance bottlenecks, analyzing errors and timeouts, and comparing multiple tests. Thank you for watching.